things always start with a great idea. So when I was 10, I decided I'd like to design billboards on the side of the road. From that, from the age of 10, I knew what I wanted to do. When I was 15, I went for a job in Sydney as a visual display merchandiser because nobody from a country town of Singleton would get employed in a visual merchandise or in advertising in the Sydney market. I worked at uh, visual advertising at Grace Brothers and was lucky enough to work with 16 gay guys and two straight guys, one being myself and one being another young guy from New Zealand. The first job that we did was design the first to wrap boxes for a week and a half and I'm going why I'm wrapping boxes. Then on a TV show the following week on the news, I just helped create the first gay and lesbian Mardi Gras float. From that experience of visual display, I realised there was a whole range of different old techniques, ticket writing, window display, and the impact that would have on consumers. And seeing things sell from what you'd set up and did a display. I stayed doing that for only 12 months because I knew I wanted to get in the advertising department. It's funny how things happen. In the interview, I didn't take in much of my work. I had done logo designs as a young kid. I'd done illustrations. But while I was at school, I built this beautiful and designed this beautiful outdoor table and chair setting. I wasn't going to show it in the presentation, but on my leaving, the Polaroid photograph that I had slipped in my case fell out onto the floor. The guy who was interviewing me was called Colin Benfield. He picked up the Polaroid and gave it to me because I was leaving, and he asked me, did I build it? And then he asked me, did I design it? And then he asked me, did I have the plans on me? because he was looking to build an outdoor table and chair setting for his home. From that engagement that I'd created something, designed something, finished something, I got a job. That would not have happened and my career might have taken a totally different course if something that I didn't think was of value, that somebody saw that was of very great value, um, was taken on board. Um, and from that day, I worked for Grace Brothers. I was the youngest ever art director for Grace Brothers in their advertising department. Worked with Maggie Tabra, um, Deborah Hutton, who you might know of, um, and a range of great, the best photographers in Australia. And from that change, then I went to Walsons and did brochures, because I needed to get into an advertising agency. Uh, that took a, a, went on a different tangent. I got into screen printing, because I did TAFE courses. I did ticket writing at TAFE and did all these amazing things and ended up producing t-shirts and visual merchandise and was competing against a guy called Ken Doan. My shirts outsold Ken Doan's for a while. Um, and then Ken Doan actually asked me to print his t designs for him. I said no to that contract. Again, I took integrity on something that I thought was the right thing to do and went on a different journey. Um, from there, I did, um, went to Paddington Markets and was a, one of the largest sellers of T-shirts and designs at uh, Paddington Markets. Got back into doing freelance work with the agency, had a really bad car accident, and it uh, ended up in Newcastle working for an advertising agency. Where does your journey take you from what you start with? You never know. But do not, ever not show things that you think you have, have created that you're really proud of. It is really important to have that integrity. What somebody tells you might be good or what you expect somebody to be thinks that's really good, you'd never understand because it's not till you're the person that you're talking to. Um, show what you do, but show your passion. And if you do that, a career will come your way um, and an opportunity. And this whole industry is totally intangible. I don't know where my career is still going today. Um, but it's what happens from bumping into people, meeting people and people picking up, picking up on your enthusiasm for what you do.